It's really so stupid. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times news anchors couldn't keep a straight face. You you want me to be <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the funniest instances of news hosts being unable to contain their laughter. Do you have any tricks for controlling laughter? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Ugliest Dog Contest Yes, there is such a thing as the world's ugliest dog contest. This competition takes place Friday in California. These are some of the <laughs> oh, boy. It takes place in Petaluma, California, and thousands of people attend every year to catch a glimpse of the not-so-cute doggies. In 2019, Fox covered the story, which was accompanied by pictures of the participating dogs. Anchor Bob Buckley can't even get through the first picture without busting a gut. <laughs> <laughs> what follows is about a minute of straight and incredibly infectious laughter. Anchor Cindy Farmer tries her darndest to get through the story, but her words are almost incomprehensible thanks to the giggling. I'm not laughing at the pets, I'm laughing at Bob's reaction. <laughs> Number 9. Plague Season and a Prison Death We're going back a ways for this news story about plague season. As anchor Laura Stevenson of News 4 Reno reported on rodents carrying the plague, she smiled her way through the entire report and let out a few giggles along the way. Now, if you spot an animal you suspect may carry the plague, report it to the health department right away. Co-host Jeff Moore has even more trouble when it's his turn to report on the death of a prison convict, thanks to a line about whether or not a truck driver, quote, was supposed to run over the inmate. Right now, no one seems to know whether or not the truck driver was supposed to run over the inmate since he was trying to <laughs> excuse me. Perhaps the intended line was about whether the driver, quote, meant to run over the inmate? We don't know, but more keeps cracking up throughout the segment. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Number 8. Swimming Cat Being a news anchor is a weird job. Sometimes you report on serious issues, other times you're talking about a cat trying to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. In this segment, anchor Susan Bohorek had to report on Holly, a 13-year-old cat that went swimming in a local pool as a form of exercise. Bohorek almost immediately gets the giggles and struggles her way through the story. Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> it doesn't take long for her to descend into full-blown laughter, and she's soon laughing so hard that she can barely finish the story. We don't blame her. The footage of that terrified cat paddling around in the water and wearing a life jacket sure is truly marvelous. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> Number 7. Dingus Day Even the most accomplished professionals in the field get the giggles from time to time. Yeah, it's a dingus day. Anderson Cooper is one of America's most popular journalists and news anchors, having hosted Anderson Cooper 360 since 2003. For this segment in 2012, Cooper was reporting on Dingus Day, a European celebration that occurs on Easter Monday. It's a Polish-American tradition celebrating the end of Lent, the day after Easter. One bit in particular takes Cooper aback and makes him crack up. In fact, he has to stand up from his desk to try to reset. The quirky little rituals include boys sprinkling girls that they fancy with water, and the girls striking back with a tap from a pussy willow branch. Even that doesn't work, and he sits there wiping the tears from his eyes. He called the story torture, but for us at home, it was comedy gold. <laughs> I just gotta let it out. I just gotta let it out. <laughs> Number six, a honking dog. Dogs are always great for a laugh, never mind dogs that perform human activities. In a video captured by Yvonne Blankenship, a dog is seen stepping on a car horn and barking for its owner to hurry up in a nearby subway. 
that is Diamond. A couple had stopped at the subway in Grove City for some lunch when they saw this little dog barking and honking at its owner to hurry up. Anchor Laura Terrell nearly gets through the whole story, but eventually breaks and struggles with the conclusion. Oh, but seriously, what a sassy dog. <laughs> I can't. Todd Magel also gets in on the action, giggling throughout the segue to commercials. This is why okay. we can't show <laughs> Todd dogs. pet story. <laughs> this is the kind of magical hold that dogs have over us. Number 5. A Model's Fall This is an all-time classic news blooper. NBC's Jim Vance was reporting on Paris Fashion Week, a designer clothing exhibition held semi-annually in France. But there was a problem out there today. However, this wasn't a report on the exhibition itself. Rather, it was about a model falling on the runway. The model struggles with her platform shoes and stumbles across more than once, causing Vance to break out in laughter. <laughs> that had to hurt. That was uncool. That's embarrassing. <laughs> the slow motion shot of her flailing really gets the anchors going, and they never fully recover. Talk about infectious giggles. Well, you all are just really tickled by that, aren't you? You try walking in those shoes. <laughs> Number four, restroom panic. We don't know what's funnier about this one, the story itself or the reactions to it. The story is about a man who stunk up a Home Depot bathroom, while walking in, he warned others in the restroom that he was, quote, fixing to blow it up. One customer took him literally and alerted police. It turned out, of course, he was just being courteous. It takes a moment for anchor Lisa Rose to get the joke, but when she does, she cracks up. Others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Ethan Forhats loses the plot too, as do a few people off camera. To Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> we never truly lose our childish appreciation for a good poop joke, do we? Number 3. Chris P. Bacon This might be the funniest name ever given to a pig, and we are in full support of anchor Robert Bradfield for laughing at it. The story is about a pig named Chris P. Bacon who visits children. One pond. <laughs> Well, one potbelly pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Immediately upon reading the name, Bradfield loses his composure and never recovers. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his <laughs> Unlike many of the other entries on this list, he doesn't even attempt to soldier his way through. He simply laughs uncontrollably and tells someone to read the story. Yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> It's this type of abandon, yes, the name is Chris P. Bacon, that makes the video a classic news blooper. Number 2. Lightning Recovery Sometimes the universe smiles upon us and gives us an amazing bit of unintentional comedy. This news report was about a woman recovering from a devastating lightning strike. Laura Esterman was struck by lightning nearly a month ago, and she was considered officially dead. The report cuts to an interview with the woman, only it glitches out in the most hilarious manner possible. She moves with quick jerks and speaks in a stuttery fashion, making it look and sound like she's being electrocuted. I, 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 I should buy a it's a perfect convergence of footage and story, and it's enough to make anchor Mike Mickle crack. He tries his hardest to press on, but viewers can tell from the first smirk that he's going to break. And break he does. We'll have more on that story and hopefully get that tape fixed for you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Sketchy Sketch Behold what might be the greatest facial composite in the history of humanity. Ethan Forhats was reporting on a theft in Pennsylvania when he apparently received word that a sketch of the subject had been released. And I think, yeah, I think we do, we do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. The sketch, which was actually drawn by the victim, is displayed on the screen, and Forhats' stunned reaction is priceless. He simply stares at it in silence, probably thinking that someone behind the scenes is playing a joke on him. But things get even better when a photo of the criminal is put beside it. Forhats finally breaks and lets out a little giggle before joking around with a co-anchor. So here's a picture of the real guy next to the sketch. 
that led to his arrest. Where's the pointy chin? It's uncanny, Lisa. It all comes together like an SNL sketch. And I say give that sketch artist a raise. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.